Hi, I'm Beth, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting this painting called Unacceptable Normal. I started off by painting over a painting that I did when I was like 10 of a, of a bee. I was really proud of it at the time, um, but it was a nice canvas. I've actually painted over that twice. On the back there's a painting of a shed, but it doesn't matter. Um, drew over it, gessoed it, and then painted over it again and didn't like that one, so I wiped it away, which you'll see in a sec. Please ignore the fact that the reference photo pops up in this frame. I thought that it wasn't, I really thought that it had zoomed in. Um, don't judge me, but that was, yeah, the reference photo. Um, I used myself because well, I don't know, it's just easier to use myself. And then I took the photos of the flowers as well. Um, but the concept idea behind this painting um, was about, <laughs> um, about period pains and um, how <laughs> bad they are. <laughs> Obviously, I was just struggling really badly um, when I was painting this. And like, it is a big part of people's lives. Like, uh, one week a month, is like a quarter of your life. It's a long time to be in pain um, and it's just glossed over all the time and not talked about. I mean, it is talked about now-ish, but not really. Um, so I was gonna originally have the flower coming out of the eye cause you know, flowers like girlhood and whatever, but uh, I changed it cause I didn't like it coming out the eye one cause it's a bit cliche and also it doesn't like, why is it coming out the eye? There's no reason. Um, this was sparked when on my 17th birthday, I had the worst period of my life and um, ended up going to hospital because my dad thought my appendix had burst. I was screaming so loud. Um, nothing really happened. And then when I was telling my friends about it, they were all like, oh yeah, I've been to the hospital a couple times too. Yeah, they just tell me that it's normal. Um, and I just, that's just crazy to me that that's, it's normal to be in this amount of pain. Like it's yeah, like, I just feel like if it was the other way around, you know, like there's there's medicine for everything. There's medicine for a headache. Like there's medicine for things that don't even hurt that bad. But when it comes to pain that's so bad, it's just, oh, uh, you know, just take a paracetamol and hope for the best. Like you just, you just have to be in that pain. It's normal. It's just like, you know, oh, you're a girl, so you have to suck it up. Like this is just what every girl has to go through. You're nothing special. Like, you, like, but like, why is every girl going through this? Like, we're living in the 21st century and you're saying that there's no effective medicine. And if you want to get that effective medicine, then you have to go through about like 10 million GPs and prove that all of the other things don't work first. And everything just seems so messed up. Um, so that's what this painting is about. And I painted the forehead all big and swelled and like veins popping out because I mean, one of the side effects that I get is headaches as well, painful in itself. And then um, I painted my hands and ears. Well, I mean, the, eye, the hand is there because, you know, I'm just like tired of this. And then I painted the hands and the ears like um, falling apart because the ears, because you feel like you're not listened to. And then the hands just because, and the body, just because you feel like you're withering away. It's just, just you just die every month. and. It's just annoying. Um, and then in the corner, I wanted to paint a like, rotting, um, dying, like decaying flower in contrast to the pretty one that I was going to paint next. Um, and I wanted to do that because it's you know the orange one is supposed to be the the flower of womanhood that you're supposed to become and what they tell you it's going to be in you know you have babies without periods so it's great and it's wonderful and it's new life and then the rotting one is <laughs> how it actually is hi um, i'm sorry that i'm back again with one of these kind of videos and not me painting and the reason is so i i was filming on my camera and um i also took this ca same camera on holiday but I forgot that I took it on holiday and took photos of it on holiday. So all of the videos, so when I came back from holiday and started videoing them here, I was like, oh, I should have storage because I don't have anything on my camera, but I did have stuff on my camera. So 
none of the so anyway none of the things I filmed um actually filmed because I didn't um because I didn't have space on the camera so like I have to like dump it quite regularly and I just anyway so I don't have any of the footage for the end which is really annoying um and I I feel bad because I keep I haven't made a full YouTube video like start to end of the process since like December but um I did film the end of it on TikTok at Beth Caden um but yeah I'm sorry it's not in this video but the finished thing is here okay I'm gonna refilm everything I just filmed because I don't know what the freak was up with the lighting but it was the most unflattering video I've ever seen of myself okay let me just put it here oh is that gonna be even worse probably this is she apparently my friend when she came round was like why that's so much more than i thought it was um so it's this size i don't know what it is for reference so oh i don't know but yeah i know it doesn't look finished but finished to me i know this is like something that people have up in their houses and it's not very sellable but it was a personal project for me i wasn't like for school or anything like i just wanted for myself and it was therapeutic to paint i started filming oh He's featured in my videos before. I don't know if it's dry yet. I started filming like a week in my life, um, but not a bit filmed. So I don't know if I should just like start filming from here or just give up. I also started filming part two of. You can see this painting here. Again, it didn't film. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I promise I'll try do better. I don't know what I usually end my videos with.